Welcome back to another Seashawn scrapbook video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a photo strip look on a Project Life app page. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into the blue section of the app and select a template like this template A that comes up that has at least four of the same sized pocket all in a row. Uh, there's a couple different if you want to a vertical option this design D is a great option um, also you know this design K would work just something that has at least four uh, slots in a row and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in let me go back to design a here you're gonna put in just four different photos I've got some pictures of my kids when they were just little. Add them in to the pockets. And then what you're going to want to do is actually save your page just like it is. We're going to export it. All those four blue pockets are going to uh, save with my background color filled in, which is white here. So we're going to choose export 12 by 12. Yes, I know my layout is incomplete. That's okay. Tap yes. And I'm going to save it to my camera roll. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the orange collage section of the app and pull up uh, this first template that's just a 12 by 12 square. I'm going to bring in that page that I just saved as a photo. And we're halfway there. So now what I want to do is if I go into my editing options, this first button here on the left, and go into pick, tap, go, this yellow option, and that is a, an add-on feature that you'll have to add to the Project Life app if you don't have it already. It's, I think, some like $3. And then next to the pick, tap, go logo here at the top of the screen, on the right hand side there's a crop symbol tap on that and then you have either cropping or rotating options i'm going to click on the rotate these little two arrows going in a circle here on the right bottom right and then i've got this slider bar at the bottom and i'm just going to rotate that just slightly now when you rotate it also enlarges and only everything with inside the yellow lines is going to be kept so I'm going to show you a workaround I have if you don't want it to cut off anything, uh, like it's going to cut off some things here. But go ahead, when you're finished, click Apply on the top right, and then Done. And now you can see I've got this page with my photos slightly tilted. So I'm going to close out of that to save that page. Then I'm going to go back into the blue section of the app, I'm going to select a template. I'm going to scroll through my templates here, and I want a template that has a large opening at the bottom or the top of the page. Um, you could use this Big Shot 5 would be a good option. But I also like, if depending on what else I'm going to be putting on this page, if I have a lot of journaling or something, I might want to choose this uh, Big Shot 11, because then I have these top four uh, card slots to work with. But I want to put my photo of that film strip look in the bottom. So I'm going to click on my photos, add my... Oh, I didn't save it. Here, let's go back. Back up. That was a completed collage. So I need to export this and save it to my camera roll so I can pull it back into use. Oh, the magic of live video. Now we're going to go back in to our page template. Go back to that Big Shot template that had the large opening at the bottom. Big Shot 11. Now we're going to pull in that slightly tilted uh, photo strip look. So now I can add other cards to this page, add my journaling, do whatever I want, but I've got this cool little tilted effect that is really easy to accomplish in the Project Life app. You just have to 
um, know the little secrets. So now I talked about how you may not like that it cuts off those end bookend pictures on the right and left there. Um, the way to get around that is to go and choose a template that has a lot of spaces, um, more than, than four. Something like this squared away uh, five. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my photos in four of the middle slots. Uh, let's move it so I've got every other kid. There we go. So now what you're going to do is you're going to export this page and save it to your camera roll. Let's not forget that part this time. And then go back into your collage section. Pull up that 12 by 12 and pull that photo in. And now you'll notice when we go into our editing mode for Pick Tap Go, when we clip, clip on our, go into the rotation section, now as you can see, it's going to get bigger. We don't rotate it quite as much. You can kind of pinch and zoom a little bit, and tilt it the way you want and apply those changes and say done and then don't forget to export this version and save it and now if we go back into our page we're just going to go back into this one that I did earlier we're just going to swap out the photos for that that's a little bit smaller but I've got the same tilt but now nothing has been uh, cut off so it's just a, a different kind of a effect if you want to not cut off those pictures on the on the end just use one of those templates like we did here that has a lot of or at least one empty square all the way around the pictures that you want to use now something else that you can do is you can add some decorative cards and this is the hard always the hardest part for me is finding the decorative card that you might want to use and here I'm just going to use kind of an ABC card and a heart card and just kind of mix and match a pattern here. We'll do ABC heart dot ABC heart dot ABC heart dot ABC heart dot all the way around. And so, oops, except I should have moved those. Didn't. didn't. Didn't need to go all the way around the page, just all the way around your photos. And then we're going to export and save that page. We're just going to show you how this can look when you add some border cards with the design around. So then what you can do is you can really create a fun look when you go and rotate this a little bit. And this really takes some finagling kind of to get it to, to look just how you, you want it. Apply that. And then let's save it. A lot of exporting, a lot of saving and bringing back into pages, but uh, the final product I think is really, can really be worth it. Sorry, I wanted to go into a page, not a collage this time. Let's go into one of those big shot. 
I really wish there was a way to find the template you wanted to use a little bit quicker. Put it in an upper pocket this time. Well, there you see you can create kind of a fun little effect with uh, filler cards all the way around your photos. So that's what I wanted to show you how to do here today is just create this photo strip kind of a look. Uh, you can do it with or without these kind of filler cards around the, the edge. Um, you can see there's just a different, different look depending on which, which route you go. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.